pre patch was much better than anything. It wasn't light, wasn't dying at 80. Yeah. And now, David just saying, it doesn't matter if you're going Diddy or not. I'm still going to have the confidence to deal with you and have the momentum to carry this over. That's the thing about David Gibb. He's super confident uh, when he plays. Like, there's nothing that really stops him. He taunts afterwards just playfully, nothing too disrespectful. It's like he just knows that I can do this, and if I lose, I'll take the L, and I'll learn from it. That's what I really like about David Gibb. Yeah. All right. So as I was saying, uh, these guys always play back and forth, so I'm curious to see how good the adaption is going to be between these two going back and forth. And I know these two really like these stages, uh, the stage battlefield. It works really well for Yoshi. I don't know for Game & Watch, but Game & Watch, like, he, David Gibb lives this stage. Yeah, he really loves he this loves stage. He loves it. Like, I feel like the only downside is that because the vertical blast zones are a bit bigger, uh, it makes the 2-2 uh, two -two a little bit harder to, like, try to get the kills. Yeah. Just because um, he's going to have to go for the later percent of the 2-2 two -two to get that carol. Exactly. Because otherwise, if he tries to go for it too early, then Game of, uh, sorry, not Game Watch. Yoshi's gonna live, and he might lose that option. And just as we say that, you know, momentum shifts, and Game it did, Game it give is, you know, he's got the percent lead, but Jive is in the uh, offensive. Ooh, knocks him out, and okay, that egg actually gonna be coming in clutch, gonna be living a bit longer. That's what I've been saying, Jive with those eggs, he just knows where to place them, knows where to put them, and okay, okay. Yeah, that's a setup a lot of Yoshis do. You know, the the uh, you know down B and then wait for them to mash out yeah. and then fair them. Although uh, David Give isn't gonna have to worry too much until he's about the higher percents, because one uh, he has a really good up B mm -hmm. to uh, help himself get back to the life no problem. Plus he has armor, so any follow up that uh, Jive tries to do, and wow, that wow. that key to success. And there's that talent of Sakura about. Yep. David Give feeling himself. Confidence in spades. And you know what, like, despite, like, the, you know, domination uh, at the beginning, like you say, they, they go through and through each, through each other. Like, they, they, uh, they, they throw trades, they, they uh, build up percent, and, like, it was at 130 to what? And now, look, it's even. Yeah, there. just like that. No matter how behind Jive is, he always tries to find the right moments of opening and then just brings it right back. Exactly. There we go, up tilt. Okay, really good DI to actually tech onto the top uh, platform of Battlefield and avoid any follow-ups. And I like that jab in between uh, the combo there, just to put the pressure on. Very smart. Once you see that jab, you just want to shield it. It's an instinct. Oh, nice. And yeah, the, uh, Drive doing a really good job of just waiting for uh, David Gibbs' options and just counterattacking. David Gibbs doing the same whenever Jive is in the air. And these uh, B reversed uh, neutral Bs are actually really helping out mixing up his uh, approach options. And he spaces it well that he doesn't get punished. Like, oh, except for that uh, dash attack. All right, and right now, uh, as overused as these uh, dash attacks are, they're actually coming in clutch for David Gibbs. Yeah. Either really getting punished or he's uh, getting just the tip and sending Jive off stage with it. You know what? It, overusing it. Oh. Uh, oh, God. And to be honest, I. If he got that upper, I think that might have been it. Yeah, More so because um, Game & Watch being really light and up here being decisively strong. Yeah, he just needed to read the DI and then uh, he didn't you know, do it so well and went for Bear instead. I don't even know if Bear would have killed, but... I think he's good, yeah. Yeah, at a percent range. Actually, and I feel like um, at this percent, because uh, the 2-2 two is going to send him really far, I think with the double jump armor, the first hit's not going to be able to knock him out of it. Okay, only it's a dash attack, not too bad. And you know, Yoshi's a heavy character, you know. Not the most heaviest, but like he's he's like right around like oh. Mega Man and Oh jeez. Oh there we okay, go. Okay, yeah. And David Gibb knows that if he just shielded the, the stars, he would have got a clean punish off of that. Unfortunately, uh the star is gonna be secretly true comboing into the boots of the yeah. up smash. Drive gonna be taking that first game just Narrowly. Yeah, you know, saving that down B. I mean, it was just stars into down B, or did he do anything in between? I mean, uh, no, it was just like the straight of the stars. I know he wanted to uh, drop his shield early and try to get that punish, but unfortunately, oh. stars still a factor, so you always wanted a shield just in case. Well, I guess nice reaction, or maybe read of yeah. sort for Jive there. It's hard to tell when it's a read or a reaction. I'd probably say lack of reaction by David Gibb, because 
he knew he could have got that punish, but just forgot about the stars. Yeah, of course. And just like he said, the reverse will be there. Just pulling him out of action, you know. All right, and right now uh, we're seeing Dreamland coming into play here. I feel like this is still good for both sides, but it's gonna help out David Gibb a little bit more because, as you saw that second stock, he got that two two, but because of the battlefield blast zones. Uh, it did help out Drive in living a bit longer, and wow, he did use his jump yeah. along the way. Not the best idea. I like that edge guard by uh, David Gibb. You know, if you get one bear, you can connect another. It's really good. Multi hit, it's hard to tech. Uh, definitely the, one of the best in the Game & Watch's arsenal. Okay, falling up air. Uh, usually does combo, but because um, Jai was on the top platform while David Gibb was landing on the main stage, he wasn't able to get that follow up. Okay. Oh. oh, one. That's not going to help him out. He gives himself a bit more damage there. Any other uh, number would have actually maybe even killed a six. Would have had massive knockback. But he got a one. Wow. Gods are not in his favor right now. Oh, and see some challenging up smash with the helmet. That uh, SpongeBob the movie bikini bottom helmet <laughs> going to be coming clutch. <laughs> As we go into a game three scenario. Yeah, that was convincing too, Stuck. I mean, he played it really smart after the up air. He knew he was just going to come down with an offensive option throughout that up smash. There's nothing really too wrong with throwing that out. I like that a lot. Yeah, and that's the thing. Uh, in this matchup, David Gibbs knows that Yoshi only has uh, two safe options that can, uh, that's disjointed and can help himself beat the up smash, either eggs or egg lay. Yeah. Other than that, Yoshi's going to be close quarters, so. Now, FD, huh. I mean, I don't know too much about Game & Watch to really contest this, but for Yoshi, I think it's a pretty good stage. Like, this really helps with y uh, Jive's mentality as a player. Throwing out that eggs, just chilling a little bit, a little bit, you know. Just, just playing it smart, but, ooh, what a combo. Oh, okay, and these trades are not putting in work for Jive at all. As yeah. He gave, like, a clean 35%. He has no... Okay. Oh, he needs to really get back on stage. Did he use his jump? No? Okay. Okay, down there. Actually beating up the up B, which is very rare to happen. Yeah. I hope he knows the difference that, uh, you know, that was just a rare thing and he doesn't try it again. Yeah. Cause... Okay. And this is where he wants to be. Okay. It's like he can get in and then throw an egg. Just make him commit to an option. Oh, unsafe Nair, but... Unfortunately, gonna be avoiding the second hit, the two. Again, the stars coming in clutch. Ooh. And you know, Jai's been doing those little rogue uh, up smashes, and they did help him with the first game, but then not too much with the second. There we go, another one. Okay, now. Wow, what a fence. That was actually a good bait. Um, yeah. Up smash doesn't have as much cooldown as most people would think. I feel like David Gibb tried to uh, go in for a grab, go for a potential 2 2. Oh, and very nice. Even though he had the double jump, uh, the more damage you get, the less armor is actually going to be uh, helpful for you. So yeah, it's subtractive armor, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's heavy armor. Oh, heavy armor. Okay. But the more damage it is, the less uh, helpful it becomes later on. So. Oh. Okay, trying to get the read off the uh, jab to uh, smash. Again, another safe, unsafe nair, and I feel like Drive is going to have to find different ways of either spacing out. Spacing that out better or finding a different piece of his arsenal of challenging David when he's landing. So far, it's not really working out. Yeah. I, would, I would love to see him do the uh, the, rever or the, rever the reverse part of Nair, like right there. Uh, just like a cross-up tool. Uh, it keeps him safe. doesn't do as much damage as the full body, but it can really mess with uh, David Gibbs' mind. Oh, okay. He's that one piece of fish. Fish and stick, ladies Yeah, piece of stick, man. The chef's in the building. There we go, reverse Nair, like, look at that. Not the best damage, but just get in and out. Oh, and I feel like this was a good uh, warning for Jive as David is starting to look for that grab. Remember, this is still Game & Watch, you know, 71%. That's just, this might as well be kill range. And Yoshi lives for a while. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, really? that's Oh good. my gosh, and that kills. Yeah, that killed. I mean, that's just that's Game & Watch. Game & Watch being right, and honestly, he went straight up. Mm -hmm. He didn't went straight up. It was went straight up, I and mean, I don't like David gives DI is usually on on point. Yeah, you know? so but I, I don't want to like, say that. I feel like because like he was trying to get out of the egg as quickly as he can, because as soon as he saw the up smash, it's like okay, I need to start matching, get out of it, be, yeah. be in safety. Uh, unfortunately, John's still chasing. Get that up air. 
And I feel like uh, V15 also helped him out because that 115.